You want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife. The mockery continues. Getting ensnared by a narcissist is invariably problematic for most people, and always is, when you're the intimate partner primary source of the narcissist, because you are the one that is the individual that the narcissist focuses on the most. You're the person who provides the most fuel to the narcissist, most character traits and residual benefits. That means that the narcissist must assert control over you more than anybody else. It also means that you will end up in a sustained devaluation and there is a significant risk you'll be disengaged from. As part of this journey uh, with the narcissist, you'll find yourself subjected to a range of manipulations which may cause you physical harm, certainly emotional harm, psychological harm, financial harm, sexual harm. You'll find yourself ostracised from relationships, friends, family. You'll find yourself struggling to do your job properly because you can't concentrate. Your sleep may well be affected. You may not be eating properly. You'll make mistakes, perhaps end up in financial difficulties as a consequence of overspending or the loss of your money to the narcissist's crazy schemes. Also, out of a misguided sense of loyalty, you'll often find yourself on the wrong side of matters because you feel duty-bound to defend the behaviour of the narcissist, even when you know that they are in the wrong, because quite simply, your life is not worth living if you don't back them up. In the circumstances, therefore, you are essentially strapped to the narcissist. And as the narcissist goes on their crazy ride through life, you are dragged along like a prisoner tied to a rope behind a wild stallion. Harry finds himself in a similar situation. Having been drawn in by Harry's wife as a consequence of the golden period, he's now in the sustained devaluation. And therefore, not only does he find himself on the receiving end of her malign manipulations and devaluing behaviours, but because the world is waking up more and more to what she is, he is also being tarred with the same brush. An example of this, of course, was with the absolute clusterfuck of a shit show that was the Spare publication, or WAH, in South Park Ease. That publication clearly was the orchestration of Harry's wife, not only in terms of making Harry look like a dipshit, but also in terms of making him appear utterly beholden to her, and how each appearance in part three of the book is one that betrays her in a light as if she is an angel come down from heaven to save everybody, and in particular, Prince Harry. It led to monumental levels of ridicule, across social media and in the mainstream news, and, to put it bluntly, has made him look like an odious twat and a dickhead. This mocking of him shows a complete sea change in the way that people regard him. Once upon a time, people either didn't really have an opinion about him or thought, yeah, suffered a toughie because of his mum dying, but generally decent enough bloke. Get a bit of a ginger temper on him, but he's fun, he's kind, he cares, he's the playboy prince. We like him, he's engaging. Now he's turned into a mealy-mouthed, whining, selfish, self-entitled brat. Of course, he has strong narcissistic traits, and the conduct of his wife, in terms of the abuse that she meets out to him, and also the poison that she pours in his ear, drawing him into their awful shared fantasy, means that those traits have come to the fore as emotional empathy has been eroded in relation to members of his family and, of course, her family too. It's made him sceptical of the world at large, exacerbated his hatred of the media, except where it suits the purposes to embrace it. And it has led to him shifting from being a bloke that many people just essentially liked to having many people think that he's just as bad as she is and making him a subject of mockery. At this juncture, Harry, as a victim of a narcissist, doesn't sit there and realise how far I have fallen. I used to get on with my family. People liked me. I enjoyed myself. Now, I talk a language that I don't really understand, i.e. the language of woke. I don't have any mates. I don't see my family. And... 
I'm regularly told that I'm happy by my wife who causes problems for me. He doesn't have those moments of realisation because he's still trapped in the emotional thinking caused by his addiction to the narcissist and the grip that she holds over him. He doesn't seem to realise that once upon a time he was liked, nay loved by many people. Now he's despised and mocked and he hasn't made the connection that this is a consequence of his involvement with her. He has not yet realised that before Harry's wife, things were good. Post Harry's wife, things were bad. Take, for example, his drug taking. He's taken drugs in the past, which he says has helped him. Yet, he's taking drugs now. And therefore, that surely would cause him to realise, if I'm still doing it, I'm still doing it because I've still got problems and I'm not happy. But he hasn't woken up to that. Because he's told on a near daily basis by his captor, you are happy. We are happy. This is great, Harry. This is the life that we always wanted. This is the utopia that we have forged for ourselves. Yes, Harry's wife. No, Harry's wife. Three bags full, Harry's wife. The mockery of Prince Harry has continued. And it shows how far he has fallen as a consequence of his involvement with the narcissist. Because as reported in GB News, Prince Harry brutally mocked as spare prick by British artist in collection selling for thousands of pounds. Now what is this? Well, Prince Harry has been mocked by British artist Jack Chapman in a collection titled Spare Prick at a Royal Wedding. The collection is a series of front covers of Prince Harry's memoir, Spare. Chapman has painted and styled the covers in various ways, including cutting out Prince Harry's eyes and mouth, decorating the cover with seashells, and drawing a penis over the Duke of Sussex's face. Each front cover from the collection has been priced between £1,000 and £3,000, with many having already been sold. Prince Harry's autobiography sold in a record number of copies for a non-fiction book in the UK during its first week. The controversial memoir contained multiple attacks on senior members of the royal family. The bombshell bug sold 750,000 copies across all platforms during its first seven days on sale. The memoir rose to the top of the book's charts, having sold 467,183 print copies, which was also a domestic record. Despite the book's success, Prince Harry has been heavily mocked following its release. Animated TV comedy South Park's new series blasted Prince Harry and Harry's wife in multiple episodes and ridiculed the Duke's memoir by referring to Spare as Wah. This artist has taken multiple co copies of the publication and, well, some would say defaced the cover, others would say that he has exercised his artistic talents in order to create alternative covers, which he's now selling for shitloads. Good for him if somebody's making some money out of the nonsense that is spare. Prince Harry would not be impressed, and certainly, of course, Harry's wife would regard this subconsciously as a threat to control because an attack upon Harry in such circumstances is also an attack upon her. No, it's not the NATO approach, but rather the fact that Harry is an extension of her. You can see a variety of the covers gracing your screens, as I have explained all of this to you. You can make your own mind up as to what you think about them, but simply they are ridiculing and mocking Prince Harry in the way that the cover has been altered and changed and defaced. This shows how far Prince Harry has fallen. This shows how far he has fallen because of his wife. And yet, so many people are affected in this manner by their ensnarement by the narcissist, and yet with Harry, he doesn't yet realise precisely what has happened to him. Even if he became aware of the mockery of these covers, he would rather be incandescent with rage at how he'd been treated, indignant at what's been done to these covers, rather than for a moment thinking, hang on a second, this is how people see me now, as a walking, talking, joke person. Why have I fallen to this position? Who has caused it? And all he need do 
is turn his head sideways and look at the person sat next to him on the sofa. The mockery continues, and it will yet for some time before Harry starts to realise and join the dots. You can continue to enjoy some of the covers, enjoy being an elastic concept in this regard, with some musical accompaniment. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.